It's no secret that the Axie Infinity economy is in a bit of trouble. SLP has been on a steady decline over the last few months as we've seen thousands of new players coming on board and the amount of SLP being released skyrocketing, therefore leaving the price slumping over and over again. There are some brand new changes we're going to talk about today that are going to affect this economy for the rest of its future and it could go either good or bad and we're going to discuss it on today's video. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about Axie Infinity and some massive changes to their economy that uh, could affect this project uh, for the long term. Th these could be long term effects that, uh, you know, may or may not actually help the economy. I'm going to tell you why I think, uh, you know, th th this actually might be a good decision, but why it could be a little short sighted as well. Uh, before we get into that, though, if you're not already a part of my community and you love gaming and NFTs and earning money in crypto, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and smash on the like button if you want to continue to maximize your gaming and NFT profits with me. So, uh, you know, when, when we talk about the Axie Affinity economy, you know, there are some very staple, uh, you know, things that are elements of the economy itself, right? X SLP is one of them. Uh, AXS as a token is the other one. You got to have both to do breeding and breeding is a huge part of the game as well, right? That's how new axes are born. But what's happening now is with such a huge influx of people coming in and earning SLP rewards, the amount of X SLP on the market and out there that people are selling because they, they want to recoup, you know, some investment. They want to be able to get some value out of the game and, and play and earn, right? They have to sell SLP to do so. They're selling into, you know, things like Ethereum. And so what's happening now is that there's so much SLP out there that it is putting downward pressure on the price and has here for the last few months. And so the team has really, I felt, struggled a little bit to find the best solution on how to rectify this in the long term. So they have a recent update right now uh, that just came out about breeding costs. And this is an update that they're, they're, um, they're changing, they're modifying uh, to be able to, to help with this SLP problem, right? To be able to reduce the amount of SLP that's out there uh, through breeding. Now, uh, the way it works right now is that, uh, you know, you need two AXS and uh, there's different tiers of SLP you need per breed count, right? So if it's the first time the Axie has been breeding, it's going to be a certain amount. If it's the like sixth or seventh time, then it's a, it's a lot larger of an amount, right? So the, the less times they've been bred, the, the cheaper it is essentially to breed them. Well, now what they're doing now is uh, they're reducing the AXS cost, which is great from two to one. So you only need one AXS to breed one axi. Um, so it's still, you know, a little little pricey in that that uh, that end. Uh, and then the SLP costs they are increasing uh, fairly significantly. So uh, right now there's going to be uh, and I'll put a chart up here for you guys so you can see it. But um, there's going to be, uh, you know, for for one axi to breed one axi, it's going to be a cost of 600 SLP. Two is 900. Three is 1500. Four is 2400. Five is 3,900, and then all the way at the top at seven or so, you're looking at, at over 10,000 SLP uh, to to breed an axi. Now, you know, wh now why is this really important? And what it comes down to is that you know, without this, uh, you know, you're, you're, there's there's the, the price of SLP is going to continue to drop because there's just not a big enough sink for SLP out there. Uh, because it is one of those tokens that just is just going to be unlimitedly generated. So the more people are coming on board, the more people are winning rewards, the more people are going to be selling, the more that's going to be out there, the less people are going to want to pay for it, right? It's supply and demand. There's not a big demand for SLP because there's no big sink for SLP in the game. And so I feel like the, the change that they've made, whereas it may be a short term stopgap. And this is what I hear like, a lot of people think, oh, this is great. SLP, it's gonna, this is going to help reduce the supply. I think this is really only going to help them in the short term. And they're gonna, we're going to see that this is not going to be enough, right? Not everybody who plays Axie Infinity is breeding. There are a lot of people breeding, but you know that's because they're trying to then sell these axes to new people coming in. And if we hit a, if we hit a, an inflection point where less and less new people are coming in, which it happens with games all the time, and particular when the rewards for a play to earn game in this kind of respect are decreasing significantly, right? 
you're seeing you're getting less and less for your SLP. So you're trying they're trying to find this balance. I think this change is only going to help in the short term. And I do think that it's not going to be enough to really sustain their economy in the long term. And we may see there be a, a slight uptick in SLP price because of this. But I don't know that it's going to be enough to really balance out the economy in the long term, which is truly what Axie Infinity needs. So, um, you know, when, when you look at like, uh, the, there, there's some other ways that you could you could look to, you know, burn SLP or to put some different mechanics in there. And I feel like this was probably the least creative way that they could have come up with to try and mitigate the problems with their economy and with with SLP. There are a lot of other ways they could have done uh, other interesting mechanics that they could have put in. This is the easiest, simplest, cheapest stopgap solution. And I expect a little bit more from the Axie Infinity team, a team that has been building this game for so long, you know, has done really well financially, uh, has a huge player base. Uh, I do expect a little bit more from them at this point. And uh, so I think this is a little disappointing when it comes to long term outlook. Short term, probably going to be a little bit better. We may see a little bit of a dip in the SLP supply overall. Um, and, you know, from that chart that I showed here earlier uh, with the with the amount of burn, how much is being burned and how much is being minted and how much, you know, how much supply is there. Hopefully we see that that correcting a little bit and a little bit more is being burned. That's what we want to see on that chart versus what we're seeing uh, right now. So uh, incentives out there, it could be a little bit better. Uh, so I, do I think this is good news for Axie Infinity? I do. Do I think that it's going to be long-term bullish and it's going to help the game over a long period of time? I don't. I think they're going to need to do more to help this economy to continue to grow in the right direction as it's scaling. Now, a lot of people say, okay, but land play stash, it's coming, it's coming, but we don't really know when it's coming. We've heard some a few details about it. There is going to be some sort of sync there. But once again, I think the team could have put a little bit more effort into this and found some more creative solutions with what with the current game and the current set of, of cards and mechanics that uh, are used for breeding and for gameplay to be able to balance out this SLP economy a little bit further. So uh, if I were you, I wouldn't hold my breath. But if you do have a bunch of SLP that you've been waiting to maybe sell, maybe look for this this, uh, you know, this uptick as these uh, changes go into effect and maybe there's a, the, the price pressure uh, starts to come back up and we start to see something close to all time highs uh, that we've seen of around 35 cents. I don't know that we're going to see that price again, but uh, you know, maybe looking at a, 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 you know, like a 15 cent target, something that's maybe double what we're at right now uh, where we're standing at, at this video about six ish cents. So somewhere around maybe 12 would be great to see uh, for, for rebounding here with some of these changes, but I just don't think it's gonna be able to sustain it in the long term. So that's all. That's what I kind of think about this Axie Infinity update. Hopefully you guys uh, you know, take this with a grain of salt. If you're in the game like I am, uh, I definitely want Axie Infinity to succeed. I just think they could do a little bit more to help the economy here uh, be a little bit more balanced. But let me know your thoughts. I want to know what you, if you're playing Axie Infinity in particular, I want to know what you think about SLP and what they could be doing, or if you think this uh, more, or if you think this is going to be enough uh, to help sustain it in the long term. That's all I have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.